point very often people ask like what should be a ideal background of a student who wants to study data science so maybe based on your experience what do you think is very useful when you are choosing a data science program abroad like what kind of languages or what kind of experience or what approaches will be very useful you can say it in brief like what will be really useful yeah um so i i don't really uh, think that there is like one solution which fits all in such scenarios and as i already said how my profile is so where the viewer is they can they can draw conclusions from that and kind of prepare for that uh so in both of my workplaces i i worked in java uh, in in the startup i worked very little on python but my main uh, languages were java and scala uh, scala also like compared to less than java, java so you can say java is the most used but as you see i got a position in data science and uh, also i i never really did a coursera course as such or any online courses on the topic because in my mind i had it that if i want to do data science i'll do it like properly in a university rather than doing any online courses um so 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 and 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 then i had an electronics background so you see nothing falls in a quite a streamlined perspective which you can say okay this is this is the ideal way of doing and i'm surely going to get a position it's so random and 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 you also know uh, i also as 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 i told that i didn't get positions in many other universities and programs so it's very random so but yeah i feel um uh i don't know so i had a, in my cv i was working on a, a startup project myself with one of my friend it was housing in bangalore i also had a android app made which was an extra curricular activity so i was working i was doing my job and i was doing this in the evenings and i put a lot of effort in that i got a google uh, android certification program which is which is not a course it is a test and if you pass that test you get a certificate from google i got that i had these things in my cv and i also had this work experience so if you have work experience you 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 kind of know how it is to work in groups and how um like how to collaborate with people rather than working independently because group projects are very rare in college level in india so that aspect you learn that aspect in work only uh so i think uh in, in my opinion the more diverse your profile is uh at least like everything related like going to one goal but like you have more branches which is leading to one goal rather than you just have one line uh, like you form a tree uh, as you uh, in computer science language rather than uh, uh, a linear uh line uh so so that helps i feel uh, probably that has helped but i have no i way of knowing if that because i know people who didn't do side projects or didn't have a google certification but still got a position still got scholarship it is very random Uh, so recently i heard like 2 uh, 3 years back there are a lot of specialized programs in artificial intelligence in many universities in netherlands like maastricht university university of amsterdam and uh, recently i am hearing that some other universities are also trying to bring in specialized uh, masters program for ai apart from being it merged in data science or other computer science field so what is the situation in eindhoven like if anyone is interested in ai like okay yeah yeah just adding to that uh, technical universities are valued more in netherlands than normal universities so if you are targeting like at least uh, i would suggest to apply to these two first before going to others because companies value this more a degree from here pretty much uh, like kind of defines uh, your level even if you are a seven pointer uh, it's still fine and it doesn't matter too much if you are eight uh, so it's even better you can get a cum laude but uh, those are probably more important uh, later maybe in phd or something not sure but uh, try to aim on aim on this and there was another thing i thought of mentioning but i forgot 
Uh, about AI. Okay, no, no. Uh, so the other thing is, Eindhoven is uh, industrial capital uh, in some sense in, in Netherlands. Uh, like technical wise, there are a lot of big companies in this city. Uh, Amsterdam also has companies, Amsterdam and Rotterdam, but Rotterdam has more of uh, like port, import exports, these kind of companies. Amsterdam is a mixture of many things, but uh, Eindhoven has like, it is kind of one of the major, very major important city in, uh, in technical like computer science domain. So you have a lot of advantages if you are coming into you. I, I'm kind of selling Eindhoven, I think. <laughs> no, I mean, I also agree because whenever you land there, you immediately see Philips and then there are many other companies. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it, is, it is a hub and that's the reason TOE has a lot of collaborations with these companies because they work so closely. In fact, we have a building which is uh, just focused on university and uh, company collaborations and any kind of project happens in that. There are equipments there and like there is a separate building for only the collaboration work. So that is pretty high here. And also if you are in Eindhoven and if you're looking for a job that makes your chances much higher to go for a job because you're already in a well uh, surrounded place and you don't have to relocate a lot, less headache. Uh, so in that sense, Eindhoven has a lot of advantages. Um, okay, so keeping aside these two points, now coming to, um, uh, the the AI degrees, uh, yeah, like many universities are coming with that as as Samrit just mentioned. Uh, so what I heard from my professor here because they were discussing, especially because of the demand to make a separate AI masters uh, program, but it was supposed to come this year, but I'm not sure if it actually came. Did COVID impact it? or um, uh, will it come next year? I'm not sure. You can check it in the website, I'm pretty much sure. Or you can just call the university, they will give you all these details. But they are planning to make a separate AI, uh, which has a lot of overlap with my program. I mean, almost maybe 70% will be the same, but uh, they have this course maybe for people who are interested in going even deeper. Maybe they will bring up more research things in that. I'm not sure what the exact um, format's going to be. Uh, maybe if I can find the course code later on from friends, I can tell some bit and he can mention it in the description. Okay. Uh, and you can look, look to that. But basically, there isn't a difference. Like if you are uh, uh, like uh, going through uh, like this, this first words are in your mind for quite a while, you know that there is not a difference between data science and AI. It, it, these are very much similar. So you can expect the courses also to be very much similar. I mean, if, if you want a fancy like AI masters in your in the CV, you can opt for that. But uh, half, like more than half of it is an overlap between my program and that one. Yeah, and uh, let me also mention, just because I'm coming in that, uh, is that I am doing a data science in engineering, engineering which is a more, um, uh, core, uh, more research-based masters. The other one is uh, the other one is called data science in entrepreneurship, which is done between TUE and Den Bosch. Den Bosch is 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 that a company in Den Bosch they're doing it with or some uh, educational institution? I'm not sure, but that has more entrepreneurship stuffs and like how to start your company, marketing skills and our business intelligence thing probably. You will find that in details in the website, but there are two masters, but I am doing the first one. Yeah. Okay.